What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Heroclix video. Uh, sorry for the long delay, but uh, I've been very, very busy with uh, huge acquisitions. Um, anybody who's been following Instagram or Facebook or uh, our eBay page see that uh, we just acquired gigantic uh, action figure, statues, comics, everything. So I've been really, really busy. I had to prioritize doing that over the videos. So this has suffered a bit, the channel, but um, we're back and we are on the Uncommons, I know it's been a while, uh, review of the <clears throat> War of the Realms set. A uh, couple things have been announced since then, I guess, which is good, is that um, Silver Age is now a thing, so we'll be kind of looking at that for competitive. And we already know about Bronze, but um, kind of quick little spoiler here, we are going to be announcing our own little circuit out in, the, in this region. Um, starting back up at, at least because we've been doing it before but um, we have a new map uh, stores are going to be announced we're going to be announcing stores doing the regional our, I'm sorry our uh, invitational qualifiers so just stay tuned for all that that's going to be coming in in a few weeks um, so let's just get right to it all right so there are five figures I think from the uncommons that are probably going to be played uh, the first one I think might have the best uh, chance just for be seeing main force play is number 18 captain america obviously uncommon 45 points six clicks it's got five range two bolts uh, 45 points six clicks with you know toughness up top and regen in the back is really solid um, he has recruiter and his recruiter effect is for avengers keywords and then on top of that he has a special damage power which is avengers symbol Leadership, if Captain America is on an Avengers theme team, increases leadership result by one. So his leadership is going to be a four through six for the most part because his keywords are only Avengers soldier. You're probably going to be playing playing him on an Avengers team because of the recruiter mechanic. Uh, so he'll be a four through six. And then if, you know, let's say you're going to be playing Sharon Carter, the 35 point common from Captain America and the Avengers, she gives plus one if she's up. Uh, plus one to the leadership roles of Steve Rogers or Captain America who's next to her. So he'll be a three through six. And she also gets a plus one. So she'll be a four through six. So you're having a really high chance of uh, removing tokens from your team, especially if you have multiple um, Captain America, Steve Rogers on your team, whatever. Um, but, you know, as an attacker, he's not bad. 11 for three. Um, but for the most part, you're probably going to be using for the recruiter effect. Uh, in bronze and in silver, uh, that's you know that opens up a lot because you can use uh, Hank uh, Giant Man and Giant Girls to call in. They're only ten and fifteen points, so uh, it's a really quick way to get a retail in for very cheap because you can you know lose your thirty point guy, twenty five point guy who's an Avenger, and then obviously they can come in. And uh, as a bonus, he is a Captain America, so a Peggy Carter on the sideline can come in if he dies. Um, and with the the way that everybody's, uh, the teams are playing so low points, it is possible to just be playing, let's say, Giant Man. And then if he dies, he's 15 points, he dies, then he can recruit her in a 10 point Giant Girl. You know, and even things like, let's say, you want to bring in a Lockjaw or, um, a, you know, one of those like flash thompson or anything any of those guys die there are so low points that you can easily call in a retaliator and uh, keep in mind that there is a giant girl uh the uncommon one at least is not a retaliator from the avengers infinity set so keep that in mind all right the next one we have yondu number 25 uh he is 50 points five clicks uh he's got the all important prob so that's why i looked at him uh seven range guardians team ability uh, ignores elevated for shooting and he has running shot uh, solid uh, 10 speed with 7 range ignoring elevated is it's pretty good for a lot of maps um, and then he has rally uh, all attack rolls uh, with the number 3 free remove one of Yandu's rally dice dice if you do this turn Yandu has three bolts and deals penetrating damage that with the the fact that it's all attack rolls makes him that much more efficient and potent because it can be on your opponent's turn or your turn and <clears throat> excuse me he deals 
penetrating damage with three bolts instead of one. So if you can pump his damage, or let's say you give him energy explosion or whatever, and he has three bolts, <clears throat> he's doing penetrating now with all that. On top of that, it just says he deals penetrating damage. So let's say, you know, he has poison or something. He's going to deal penetrating damage. Or if he has some kind of effect that deals damage outside of combat, let's say, attacking, he's going to deal penetrating damage. So that is something that can be used later on, um, <clears throat> maybe down the line. Or if there's somebody that grants some kind of free damage, he's going to be doing penetrating. And it, I think it's pretty easy to remove this because... Uh, most teams attack multiple times in a turn anyway, so there's a higher chance of you getting a three. Um, I know for sure we've seen this guy in like a, you know battle royals for this set, and at some point they just don't even keep track of the rally die anymore because he has so many. Because you know it's a ba multiplayer battle royal. There's like four players. You're bound to get a bunch of threes. So that's this guy is definitely worth looking at. He has cosmic. Um, and the Guardians of the Galaxy keyword are the main ones. He has Pirate Ravagers, but Cosmic is the main one because, you know, he could go on a Latveria team or just a Cosmic team in general. Um, Groot is his friend. They're both Guardians. Uh-oh. All right. So the next one is Shang-Chi. Uh, now with Silver Age, I think this guy is going to be relegated mostly to ID card Colin. So he's got three bolts with no range, so he's going to be attacking multiple people up close. That's what it is. He's a wild card, 50 points. Six clicks again, solid. Uh, keywords, Agents of Atlas, Avengers, Heroes for Hire, Martial Artist, Marvel Knight, Spy. Pretty good. Um, the Deadly Hands of Kung Fu trait, Flurry. And he already has Charge, Exploit. So he's doing Charge, Exploit, Flurry with three bolts. It's kind of like Sky Tyrant, but, uh, you know, a little bit different because Sky Tyrant has so much more. But you can call this guy in, as an ID character. Uh, pressure points is attack power. Incapacitate, unique modifier. When Chang Chi uses it until your next turn hit character is given action token modify damage minus one. You're probably not going to be using that. Um, as a piece to just play on a team, this guy's, you know, on rate again. Um, attack values are all the way, uh, they're all the way up. He's got 11s and 10s. Even on the back end, he goes to 11 because he has close combat expert. Uh, and the fact that he has Flurry as a trait means he's just not going to lose that power on his dials, which means he frees him up for charge or sidestep. Um, but again, the ID card call in for him in Silver Age is where it's at. Because he's only 50 points, so a lot of characters can call him in. And the inspiration on that is Precision Strike plus one attack when making close attacks. So you're giving Precision Strike on top of the attack bonus, and he can also just charge Flurry himself. So this guy, I think... You'll see he'll you'll probably see some play on event on some you know Avengers teams or Heroes Fire or whatnot, but definitely ID card calling is where it's at. So keep keep an eye out for this guy as uh, one of the best call-ins in silver. Also because he can attack like crazy, right? Alright, and then the uh, I think this is the last one, right? Uh, sorry, yeah, this is the last one for this one. There's only four. It's Donald Blake. Now this one I was a little I was going back and forth because his his point value is too high. Um, but okay, so he's got cosmic energy, 90 points, uh, seven clicks, pretty good. Uh, As guardian, cosmic mystical, decent. Attack values are all you know solid. 11, 10. He's got charge, quake, three damage, and then he's got flurry in the back, uh, imperv up top, and. He has this crazy trait. No more Thors. When Donald Blake makes a close attack, his targets can't use defense powers. Whew, all right. So there's quite a bit here. Number one, he's got three bolts. So if he's charging in and he can get his attack damage up, let's say he's got a power gem. He's a 12 attack for five damage, you know, and power he goes six. They can't use any defense. And he has three bolts. He can split that up, or he can quake, um, and then they can't use defense. And it, keep in mind, it says when he attacks, when he makes a close attack, meaning they can't even try to um, mastermind it or super sense out of it, and then whatever. Because there are some people that say like, if they hit, then they can't use defense powers for this to turn, whatever. He just says when he makes an attack, close attack. So it's kind of like the Surter from the Mighty Thor set. Uh, 
again, the thing that's keeping him, I think, from being the top tier is his point value, 90 points. Of course, that, that trait's really, it's amazing. But if he can somehow get that attack off and just, you know, let's, look, you're playing a bunch of stop click characters like Black uh, Blackheart. Um, he's one damage away from just one shotting a Blackheart if they're playing at 75 points. Furthermore, if you're playing in silver and you play a piece like Unimine, he's just, he's a power gem away from just killing him. Because Unimine's only five clicks. Uh, or at least popping him. Oh wait, they can't even use defense powers. Oh, it's even worse. So, uh, this guy, I think, could be on that potential list of characters that can be really good if you can figure out how to get him in there. Or if the metagame just fits perfectly for him, then you could probably play him. But otherwise, 90 points might be a little steep, especially for the uh, what the format is right now. Everybody's playing a lot, a lot more lower pieces with more efficient pieces. But, uh, you, know, you know, just a few years ago, this guy would have been probably top tier just because... 7 clicks, 90 points. Was really good back then. Now it's just on par. Maybe a little above average. Okay. Well, that's the Uncommons review. Uh, definitely think the Recruiter mechanic has some merit in both Modern... Or in Modern, Bronze, and Silver for sure. So keep an eye on that cap. Um, and Shang-Chi for ID cards. But uh, I think those are the two main ones. Yandu definitely has some, some more... Uh, uses if you can get multiple attacks off with him uh, and also obviously donald blake but uh that's that's what i got uh, let me know what you guys think i know there's only four in there I, I really think there's only these four i'm sure you know you can probably look at the, some other uncommons for other id call-ins but uh at least these guys shang chi has multiple uses because you can use them both as an id and a main force so <laughs> think about that right uh one guy calls in a shang chi gives your main force Shang-Chi, plus one attack and precision strike, <laughs> and then that Shang-Chi also attacks. So you're going to have four attacks, one of them being a 12 attack with uh, precision strike, and the other one just has uh, flurry exploit. Okay, well that's going to be it for this one. Uh, I'll be back with the rares, and then uh, we'll get back on the, we'll get back on this, get back on track, and then we'll, you know, keep kind of being more consistent. All right, until next time guys, remember, only bad players blend the dice. See ya.